हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल इमेजनरी इंजीनियरिंग दिस इज कीर्ति एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड फूड रेसिपी ऐप वी आर यूजिंग दी रिएक्ट राउटर डोम बिफोर वी स्टार्ट लेट मी गिव द क्विक इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट दी रिएक्ट राउटर इट अलाउ द यूजर टू नेविगेट फ्रॉम दी वन पेज टू दी अनदर पेज इट सपोर्ट दी डायनेमिक क्राउटिंग हियर वी कैन सी द डिफरेंट फूड रेसिपी इफ आई क्लिक ऑन एनी रेसिपी वी रिडायरेक्ट टू दी नेक्स्ट पेज Here we can see our URL is updated. Each recipe has a unique ID. When I click on the any recipe, that ID added at the end of the URL. On this page, here we have the recipe name, then country name, then food category, ingredients, instruction. Here is the food recipe video. We can play this video. If I go back and here we have the A to Z letters. Initially, it shows the food recipe starting from the A. If I click on the B, then it shows the all the recipes starting from the letter B. Here we have the Big Mac burger. Instructions, ingredients, and YouTube video. If I click on the Q, there is a no food item, so it show not found. If I click on the R, it show all the uh, food recipes starting from the R. We have the one search bar. We can search the food, cake. Here we get the different types of cakes. If I search soup, then we get the different types of soup here. Let's start our actual coding part. But before we start, if you are new user, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. First, we create a React app using the below command npx create React app app name. Uh, here we have the public folder src folder. Under this public folder, we have the index.html, and inside this src folder, we create another folder component. We will keep all our components inside this components folder. We create one component mil dot jsx. Then inside this mil dot jsx file, first we import React. Then we create a React functional component for mil. It return one element. Then we uh, export our mil component. Export default mil. Then we add one div, div class name main. Then inside this we add another div, class name heading. Add a h1 tag for heading. Search your food recipe. Then we add a h4 tag. Add some text inside the h4 tag. Then add a div for search, class name search box. Then inside this, we add a input element, input dot class name search bar. Then type of uh, type attribute value is search. Then we save it and inside the app dot js. We import our main component. Then we add this main component. Then we save and run our app using the command npm start. Here we can see search bar. Now. Inside this component, we create another file style.css. We import this file in app.js. Inside this components, we have this style.css file. So in this, first we apply the padding and margin zero. Then we search for the font Google font. 
select the google form and then we add this in our file we copy this text from here import text and we paste it in our css file we copy this font family line and paste it here then we add a background color for body inside this body we add a background color code then add a styling for this main add a width it will be the 80% then the margin top bottom 0 and left right auto add a text align it will be center now if we check here we can see text in the center then add a styling for this heading part heading h1 tag then we add a color then font size it will be the 48 pixel then font weight 900 then letter spacing it will be 1 pixel then add a padding top 2 rem then margin 1 rem then we add a styling for this input search bar add a margin 1 rem top bottom and left side 0 then width it will be 400 pixel then height 40 pixel then border none make the outline none then border radius 1 rem then add a padding 0.3 rem top bottom and left right 1 rem then here we can see now in this component we will create another component mill item dot jsx inside this mill item dot jsx first we import react then we create our react functional component for this mill item then it return the element and then we export our this mill item component export default meal item inside this we add a div for dot car then inside this we add a one image if we go and search for this the meal db api go to the api here we have the different links uh, first is search mill by name if we copy this and uh, paste it here here we get this data here we have the mill id then str mill that mill name then we have the thumbnail instruction ingredients all this data we get we copy this thumbnail and just paste it here right now for the better understanding i am adding this uh, manually but after that we make the api request and fetch this data dynamically so we add a h3 tag inside this we add that recipe name we copy this recipe name and paste it here then we save it then we add our this meal item component in this meal component for that uh, create a div container class name container then we import our meal item component first then inside this div container we add our meal item component if we check here we can see the image and food recipe name then we add a styling for this container go to the style.css file and add a styling for this container add a width it will be the 80 percent then margin top bottom 25 pixel and left right auto then add a display grid layout then add a grid template column 
a repeat function column will be auto fit and inside this min max function we pass the 150 pixel and 1 fr we need a space between the card so we add a grid gap it will be 2 rem then now we add a styling for this card width will be 180 pixel and border radius will be 1 rem then add a background color then add a padding 5 pixel then add a styling for this image width will be 100% and add a border radius then we add a styling for the ch3 tag color white and add a font size it will be 18 pixel now here we can see our food recipe card in meal.js we add a more meal item component copy this and paste it here we can see it looks nice now we go back and inside this component folder we create another component recipe index.jsx for that later a to z so first we import react from react then we create our functional component recipe index then it return the element and we export this recipe index component re export default recipe index then first we create uh, one array which store the letter from a to z then uh, we use this map function to iterate over an array alpha dot map this item variable store the each element of the array then we return add a div class name num box inside this search three tag we display this uh, letter a b c d then save it and we, now we add this recipe index in our meal component add a one div index container then we import this recipe index component then inside this div we add our recipe index component save it and check here we can see this a to z letters in vertical form then we add a styling for this recipe index first add a display it will be flex then margin 2.5 rem for top bottom and left side 0 if we check we can see a to z arrange in horizontally now add a styling for this num box width will be 50 pixel then height will be 40 pixel then add a background color black then add a display will be flex then justify content center so that letter display in center align item center then color white then add a margin left right 5 pixel and top bottom 0 now here we can see the letters a to z now our next task is make a api request and fetch the data go to the mil.jsx 
then use the use state create a state variable url state url equal to use state that allow us to use the state variable in a functional component how we are using the use state so it's important to import use state from react uh, use state uh, it has the two element url and set url this url hold the data and set url that uh, used uh, is a function that update the data hold by url and this parenthesis we can pass the initial value if you go to the mill db api here we have the uh, different link of uh, search mill by name then we have the uh, for search mill by first letter then id so we are using the second link search mill by letters we copy this link link and paste it in this use state now this url is our initial url now use the use effect it take a two argument first is a function and second is a dependency here we are using the use effect so it's necessary to import the use effect from react use effect it's always run every time when we render if we pass the empty array as a second argument then it runs only once when we initially render if we pass any item inside this array here if we pass the url then every time value of this url is change this use effect will be run now if we had uh, we use the fetch api to make a api request this fetch inside this fetch we pass our url url fetch return the promise and this promise handled by this then function and this then result the result we convert that into the json and this it return the promise and we handle that promise next then function it return the data then uh, we check that uh, data we got on the console console.log data uh, right click on inspect and go to the console here we got this error unexpected token uh, this error because we haven't mentioned this https here we need to add this https before the url now if we save and check now error is gone we refresh the page and here we get this data we, we get this object and we need this mills array so we check data.mills on console here we get this array of four element if we extend that here we have the mail id then category area ingredients major instructions youtube link thumbnail here we get this all data and here we have the one warning child should have the unique key from recipe index component go to the recipe index component and here we need to add a key or uh, we can add an index as a key but here i have created a one variable num and increment this value of num for each element so here we add a key num plus plus then then go to the console and refresh the page here we can see error is gone now we want to store this data we receive in some variable so here we create a const item function set item equal to use state here we call this set item function and pass this data dot means now we create one variable to check whether we retrieve the data successfully or not show uh, set show function this uh, show is initially contain the false value once we retrieve the data successfully we call this set show function and pass the true 
call the set show function and make the show true now here we remove this uh, extra meal item component and check if show is true then means we successfully retrieve the data and we display this uh, meal item component and if it is false then we display not found and we pass here props here data equal to item then we go to our meal item component here we use the object destructuring our props then check on console data then go to our console here we can see we get this data successfully for meal item component then first we check if that data is empty or not if it is empty then we display not found else we display our card so this data is array so we use the map to iterate over an array so data dot map and we return our this div card just copy this and paste it here now we remove this url and uh, add item dot here we have the uh, thumbnail str meal thumb copy this and paste it here and for the recipe name we add item dot here we have the str meal attribute so copy this and paste it here now if we check the output here we can see here a food recipe card display starting from the letter a now next we want when we click on the p all the recipes starting from the p will be display so we go to our mil.jsx component and here we create one function set index inside this function we call the set url and update our url here we pass a uh, alpha and we simply uh, copy this url and paste it here then instead of this a we have we pass the alpha now we pass this uh, set index function in our recipe index component so alpha index equal to we call our function that uh, set index alpha and now uh, we go to our recipe index component and here we use the object destructuring for the this uh, alpha index now we use the on click event so and when we click on any letter we call this uh, our set index function so we call this alpha index and pass the item that item represent the letter that we click and then we call the set index method that we define in our mil.jsx and it update the url if we check the output here we can see if i click on the b we will receive the all the recipes starting from the b if i click on the e then we will receive the recipe from e then if i click on the g we get the recipe from the g now next we want when user search any food recipe that recipe will be display so first we create a variable const search that store the search text then function set search equal to use state then inside this input tag 
on change event we call the set search function uh, to update the value of search here we pass here dot target dot value it return the search text and then uh, on key press event when the user press the enter we call the search recipe function now we create this search recipe function inside this function first we check user press enter or not if event dot key equal to enter that means user press enter then we call our set url function and update our url value then here uh, in first url search mail by name we copy this url and paste it here back tick and paste the url then we remove this food recipe name and add our search now save and before here we copy this https and add this before the url now if i search for the soup here we receive the different kind of soup if i search for cake then here we receive the different cakes and if i search any random text then here show the not found message now next we install this our react router dom so copy this command paste it in our terminal now next we want when we click on any food recipe we redirect to the next page so first uh, after we install this uh, react router we check go to the package.json file and here we can see we install this react router dom version 6 there is a difference between the version 5 and version 6 version 5 is a pretty outdated so here we use the version 6 now we go to the index.js file and import first we import our browser router from react router dom then we uh, wrap our app component inside this uh, browser router we copy this and paste inside now save it and now we go to the app.js and here we import uh, routes and route here uh, we are using the version 6 in version 5 we use the switch in version 6 we replace the switch with this routes so instead of switch we use the routes so remove this meal and add the route path equal to slash then instead of render and component in version 6 we use the element and here we passed our meal component then we wrap up over this route inside the routes so we copy this and paste inside this routes now if we check and uh, refresh the page here we can see it's working properly now next we want when we click on any food recipe we redirect to the next page for that first we create here new component recipe info dot jsx this uh, recipe info component contain the that recipe information such as its category country name then instruction ingredients and youtube link then first we import react from react create a recipe info function and export that recipe info component so export default a uh, recipe info now 
now we add a s3 tag and inside this we add some text so when we redirect this uh, text will be shown now we go to the our uh, mail item component in version 5 we use the use history to navigate in version 6 we use the use navigate so first we need to import use navigate from react router do then we create a variable let navigate that store the uh, data written by use navigate function then we want to redirect when we click so we use the on click event equal to we call the navigate function in version 5 we use the history.push in version 6 we call this navigate function and inside this we pass the id that uh, when we redirect that url is updated at the end of the url we add the id which uh, recipe food recipe has the unique id so here we pass that id add a backtick slash item id item dot here we have the attribute id mean so copy this and paste it here item dot id mean here we add a key item dot id mean we go and check the refresh the page if I click on any recipe we redirect here we can see URL is updated at the end of the URL this recipe ID is added um, but we haven't mentioned which component we want to redirect so we need to add a path for our component so route add a path to redirect slash id then add an element equal to recipe info now if we save and check Now here we can see we redirect to the our recipe info component. If I click on any recipe, here we URL is updated and we redirect to the recipe info component. Now we need this ID so we can search the recipe by ID. So we go to our recipe info component and we import use params from react router do then we use the object destructuring to get that id const here we copy this mail id and paste it here equal to use params function now check this mail id so i just paste it here mail id now here we can see we get this mail id here here we can see we get this id so our next task is fetch the recipe by id so first we check that mail id is empty or not if mail id is uh, not equal to empty then we make the api request using the fetch api here we use this url look up the full mail details by id so we copy this url and paste it here we replace this id with our mail id 
flat fetch return the promise and we handle that promise using this main function then convert this result into the json dot in let return the data then we check on the console data dot main add a https colon before the url then we go to the console inspect here we get this data from recipe info component which is the array of object we need this object at a zero index so here we add zero index now if we check here we get the object here we can see here is the type is omelette and previous type is array now we store the data that we receive in some variable so we create a variable item set item function equal to use state then we call this set item function and pass the value data dot means so it update the value of item then we check if that item is empty or not if it is not empty then we display our content we show the recipe information we add a div content then inside this div we add image for recipe in src here we have the attribute for thumbnail str mil thumb so we copy this item dot str mil thumb then uh, we add a here we can see the images display then here we added div div dot inner content inside this div we add a food name category and its area so we add a h1 tag inside this we add item and recipe name str meal then we add a area name in which that food is belong here we have the attribute str area here we can see the food name and british food area now we add a tag h3 tag here we add a category str category attribute copy and paste it here we can see the category now we add a div due dot recipe details inside this div we add another div ingredients then we add a h2 tag for heading ingredients then we list out our ingredients in h4 tag so item dot here we have the attribute str ingredients we copy this and paste it here now we add a major so for that here we have the attribute str major now we save and check here we can see ingredient and major now here we have the total 20 ingredients and major we are going to add it ingredients and its major so we copy this line eight times and change the numbers now here we can see ingredients and measures are displayed
now we add a styling for this content so we copy this and go to the style.css file add a styling for this image width will be it 100% then we add a height height will be 600 pixel then we save and check here we can see now we add a styling for this inner content we copy and paste it here then we add a position it will be absolute and top will be 45% and lift will be 50% transform translate for x minus 50% and y minus 50% here we can see now we add some background color background color white then we add a color black font size will be 1.5 m then we add a padding then text align will be center box shadow 5 pixel horizontal and black color then here we can see then we add a style for the ingredients then we copy this recipe detail and paste it here add a width 70% then margin will be 2 rem or top bottom and left right auto then display will be flex justify content space between align items will be center here we can see now we add a go to our recipe info component and we add an instruction after the ingredients we add our instructions add a due instructions then add a h2 tag heading for instructions then we add a h4 tag inside this we add our instruction we have the attribute str instruction copy this and paste it here now if we check here we can see instruction display but uh, we need to add some space between them so we go to the style.css and add a styling for ingredients and instructions add a flex basis 50% then text align will be justified now here we can see there is a space between them now we add we go to our recipe info then we add a styling for this all h4 tag margin top will be 1.5 m and font weight will be bold then if we go and check here we can see there is a space between the ingredients now we add a youtube video link so we add a div video add a iframe tag add a styling for this iframe tag go to this our style.css and i add a height and width height will be the 500 pixel and width will be a 100 percent then we go to our recipe info component and add a src for path here 
we have the attribute ESR ASTR U2. Here we copy this link and paste. In this URL, we need to make some change. Here we remove this watch and add embed slash. Now if we save and check, here we can see video is display. Now we add some styling for this video. Copy this and let's go to the style.css file. Add a width, it will be a 80%. Then margin, top bottom 3 range and left right want to. Now if we refresh, here we can see the video, we can also play this video. This URL is same for all the video but last part is different. Each video has a unique ID so we add that ID at the end of the URL and we need this ID otherwise the rest of the URL is same. To get this ID first we check if that item is empty or not if that item is not empty then we create a variable url which store that youtube link item.str youtube then we create a another variable we split that link using the equal to which return the array of two element The first element is a string before the equal to sign and second element is a string after the equal to sign. So we need the last element of the array which is this id. So here we create another variable pid. we assign the vid equal to str str dot length minus 1 which return the last element of the array which is nothing but our id now we replace this id with our variable vid now here we can see the video now this is the end of our tutorial. I hope this helped you and you enjoy this tutorial. If you like this video then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.